to our channel, The Sammy Nicole and Fifi Show. So today, guys, I am coming to you with a small pantry tour and organization. Okay, so let's start at the top. Right here at the top. So these containers came from Walmart. Um, some of them I bought individually and some of them came four in a box, which was $11.99. And then you can buy them individually ranging from $2.99 to $4.99. So let's get started. So pretty much guys, we are vegan. We eat some seafood, but mostly we are vegan. So what we have a lot of in our pantry is nuts, um, grains, and um, we have some dates, granola, brown sugar, as you can see, all the cereal is gone because that's my husband's favorite. Um, I do have some grits that we eat every now and then, but everything is labeled in these containers. And these containers are um, air dry. Um, I have my beans. I have um, more granola. I have my rice, I have my buckwheat pancake flour, and then right up in the corner, let me see, I have my pasta, and then I have more spaghetti. In my Ray Dunn container, which is really, really cute, guys. I want to show you that. And there it is. Spaghetti pasta. All the cookies are gone. <laughs> and I try to buy non-GMO cookies when we do get them. But there's not a lot going on in this small pantry. Because like I said, mostly we don't eat a lot of processed food. Um, everything is vegetables and fruit that we cook. Um, I don't buy any processed food, any packaged food. Um, so I have my brown sugar, dates and almonds. Then on the second shelf, these containers I got from Pier 1 years, years ago. I think I got three of them for like $30. I have my coconut flour. We don't do any white flour or sugar. I have my coconut sugar, my flax seeds, and up here I have behind in this corner I have my chai seeds. And let me put this back. And then guys, this little picture right here, I got from at home and I paid $4.99 for it. And I just thought this was real cute to put in my pantry. So it says, this home is filled with lots of hugs, patience, kindness, happiness, and love. So I got that from at home. And I think I showed you guys this in one of my hauls that I did. And then right here, we have um, olive oil. And I got these from the Dollar Tree. Yep, from the Dollar Tree. Long, long time ago. And then right here, we have um, vinegar in this one. And this little plant... Um, silk plant I got from Marshall's long long time ago and I think I paid like 
$6.99 for it. And then in these containers right here, I actually got the one um, with the crackers in it. I got that one from Hobby Lobby. And of course, we know that Hobby Lobby has their 50% off. So I think I paid like $2.20 um, for this one. And this one came from Hobby Lobby with the dry coconut in it, which is really good in smoothies, guys. I think I paid like a dollar and 30 cents for that one. But these in the back with my uh, matcha in it. Matcha is good for smoothies. Um, it's an antioxidant. It's good um, for weight loss. I have my turmeric. And I have snacks. Um almonds and dried fruit snacks which are uh, non-gmo i get those from tj maxx and they come in a big old bag for like 7.99 but these containers right here all three of these came from home goods and they range from 2.99 to 4.99 so you can get your glass containers from different places so this is like our little snack corner and smoothie corner over here of the pantry. So that's that shelf. And then down here, guys, is some dry goods. And these are things that my daughter really likes. She loves, for some reason, she loves croutons. She'll just eat them straight out the bag. And she loves this. This is what... My husband and I usually don't eat, but my daughter loves it. So these are her things over here in this dry good tote, storage tote. And then here's another basket. And I try to keep good snacks on hand in the pantry. This basket I actually got mm, from Ross. And I think I paid um, maybe $2.99 for it. And this storage bin, I actually got these from Walmart, guys. I actually ordered these two from Walmart, and they came two for like $5.99. And they have the chalk um, label on front where you can just write on them. And I really like those because it just makes it a lot easier. You don't have to worry about getting any labels. But this is our snack container, and it's more... Um, have like dark chocolate almonds, um, a non-GMO snack that we love to eat, same as this snack right here, same company. You can get them in a big bag from TJ Maxx and Home Goods for like $6.99. We have our LaVars here. My husband likes these. We have raisins. Um, I have some ginger candy. And so this is just a little snack um, basket that I keep in the pantry. And I do have some canned goods, guys. We don't eat a lot of them, but I will buy um, organic or non-GMO like black beans because we have to have protein because um, we don't do any meat. So I will buy some um, things in a can. Um, organic soup lentil soup this is a good source of protein so i do have some canned goods but not a lot this is just for conveniency you know if i want to um grab me a cup of soup i work from home so i can come down and get some soup it's just convenient um we don't have a lot of um can products here in the house so these two bins down here on this shelf they house um, our condiments we have our condiments in these bins so we have like our um, barbecue sauce organic barbecue sauce our um, organic salad dressing ketchup apple cider vinegar prune juice um, over here we have like our coconut oil, um, my MCT oil, that's great for weight loss, metabolism, for your metabolism. I have some olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, 
um, avocado oil. So just the different condiments that we use for cooking. And these two bins also came from Walmart. Actually, and these are actually Better Home and Garden. And these are actually Better Home and Garden as well. And these were $8.99 a piece at Walmart. So, it's very small, guys. So, what I did is I took everything out of packaging that I could take out out of the boxes and out of the packaging and put in containers and storage bins. And it looks really nice and organized. And I put some decor in it, the um, pantry. And then down here is um, the paper products. Nobody likes to keep washing dishes or loading and unloading the dishwasher. So I have some of my paper products, um, some of my husband protein supplements. And we don't drink um, sodas or pops. So um, I buy LaCroix spark sparkling water. So I keep all of, all of the extra overflow in this bin. And my husband actually added um, these bins down here. We got them from Home Depot a while ago. And they were like um, $6.99, $8.99 from Home Depot. Because we needed some more shelving in here because it's so small. So he actually added those for me. So he added those and then these two bands down here I got from Ross and they actually came three in a set but I got two and yes guys we do still eat chips um, they are non GMO but we love chips that's, that's one of the things that we do love here in the house um, these Bins came from Ross. They came three together. Um, there was a smaller size than this one right here. But I thought that all three of them wouldn't fit in my pantry, so I ended up getting two and got home and realized that three would have fit. Went back to Ross to get the other one, and now it's not there, of course. So we put our chips in one, and I like. I really like these kind of storage bins with the um chalk face on them because you can just write on them you don't have to worry about the labels so i really like those i really do and um so i ended up getting two of them one for 9.99 and one for 7.99 i think the smallest one was 5.99 so if anybody goes to Ross and you see any of these, let me know, because I need the small one. <laughs> but I wanted to tell you guys about these um, clip-on label holders. And these are so neat. I actually got these from the container store. And you get three in a box for $9.99. And I really like them because when you have the storage bins that have the fabric um, liner in them, it makes it easier to be able to um, clip the label holder on with the label. And also, these work wonderfully on basket storage bins as well. So, that's where I got these from. Um, I guess in the whole total of what I actually spent to organize and redo the pantry, um, I would say probably right at $100 maybe between $75 and $100, just from the, the bins. Um, maybe not that much, but it was definitely under $100. So I'm really liking it. And my pantry sign came from Hobby Lobby, of course. And I paid, um, I think I paid $9.99 for it, 50% off. 